It's been amazing. It's been a life-changing experience for me and my family. It's a bit different to all, uh, compared to NRL. It's a lot of wet footy over there, so I think the first, the first three months is just all mud. You're playing in the mud. And, you know, it's, I was enjoying my footy there. Really got back into loving the game again. And that was the main thing for me was to go over there and enjoy footy. I just started my first session today, pretty much. So that was just get back into it after that jet lag I've had. So um, just slowly get into that process. For week two, week one, just slowly getting into it. Do a lot of running, a lot more running than usual. It just gave me a lot of confidence in myself again. So, you know, I put in the work. So everyone thought I was going to be unfit to fight. And I have doubters out there. I just like to prove them wrong. So for me, it was about building that confidence again, getting back to where I, where I was back in the NRL and just enjoying the game, enjoying what I'm doing with life. Because at the time I wasn't, I was in the right headspace before I started boxing with Haas, so he's kind of saved my life uh, pretty much, Haas. You think, you think boxing's easy until you get inside the ring and get hit in the face. For fighters out there that are professional boxers, I have a lot of respect for anyone that jumps in the ring, so it takes a lot of courage. You've got to get through the hard work before you get the enjoyment, so it's just, you probably, the conditioning is probably the hardest part. Well, you just one step at a time. After you get through that, it's pretty simple after that. And you enjoy it more when you get to sparring. So you just got to get the dirty work first. Just be like everything you do in life.